Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. He is one of the most popular fighters on this roster, top to bottom. The former UFC welterweight champion, ruthless Robbie Lawler, made the UFC debut, how about May 10th, 2002, at UFC 37 against Aaron Wright. And right away, you had his coaches saying, this kid's going to be a future UFC champion. He had all the ability. He had the wrestling chops. He had the striking. But he also had that meanness and that toughness that you look for in a fighter. And when he got back to the UFC after he left strike force, the knockout of Josh Koscheck, and then the head kick of Bobby Volker, you knew you were looking at a different Robbie Law. His fight against Rory McDonald, UFC 189, July of 2015, one of the best most memorable fights in UFC history. Waller looking to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Waller is 14 years the elder. The rest is nearly identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, the Executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 29 wins, 15 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Here we go with round one. His knockout streak really has been the stuff of legend, knocking out contenders left and right. He's won his last three, all of them by flush knockout. Shades of Vitor Belfort back in 2013. Oh! Huge right hand! He is getting lit up right now. Huge John. shots there! a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Big elbow there, lands. They're certainly getting after it early. Just missed on that spinning attack. Nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. It's a nice one, too. Oh! Beautiful kick. Big right hand there! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Waller gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Great punch landing with so much power. 
Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out. <laughs> history. Big knockout win for him here today. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, six seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout, the executioner. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.